Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punda Misyon kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tukon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Kami ahayo sa iba't ibang dako Hatid ang iyong salita at paglilingkod Inang Maria ang siyang gabay na mitlugod Lalaganap at lab ng iyong misyon Limang daang taong biyaya Salamat Panginoon sa iyong pula Misyong kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tukon Naririto handa kami, Panginoon Ang mga kaloob na aming alay sa mundo Katarungan, kapanalan, kapayapaan Sa senyal na ito maniwala ang mundo Pagmamahal namin sa bawat tao Ibang daang taong biyaya Salamat, salamat Panginoon Ibang daang taong biyaya Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punda Misyong kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tukon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Naririto handa kami Totally yours, we 
Sinod frequently insisted on the need for a prayerful approach to the sacred text as fundamental element in the spiritual life of every believer. In the various ministries and states in life, with particular reference to Lectio Divina, ang ibig kong mangyari ay palalimin ang spirituality ng mga clergy at laity sa Diocese of Antipolo. Sabi nga ni St. Jerome, Ignorance of the Scripture is ignorance of Christ. Kaya nga, pupunta sa inyong mga parokya ang mga laity na may kasamang mga pare upang ituro unang-una sa inyong Paris Pastoral Council ang pamamaraan ng Lectio Divina, ituturo nila sa iba't ibang mga organization at ministries. At sana makaabot hanggang sa periperis ng inyong parokya upang dumating ng araw, lahat na tayo gagawa nito. Isang mapagpalang buhay para sa ating lahat. Buhay na pinagpala na galing sa kapangyarihan ng salita ng Diyos. Nilikha niya ang lahat sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng salita. At higit sa kapangyarihan ng salitang lumikha, ang salita ay naging tao at nakipanayam sa atin. Niyakap niya ang ating pagkatao at sa pagyakap niya sa ating pagkatao, nabigyan niya tayo ng pagkakataong yakapin ang Diyos. Ang leksyo divina sa kapangyarihan ng banal na spirito, hinahayaan niya tayo na ang layunin ay makita ang mga bagay-bagay sa buhay ayon sa mismong pananaw ng Diyos. Let this be our prayer. Lord, allow me to see the way you see. Allow me to know the way you know. Allow me to understand the way you understand. Allow the word of Jesus to transform us into the very heart of the Lord. Puso ni Jesus, pag-iisip ni Jesus, pananaw ni Jesus. Ito ang nilalayon ng pagdiriwang ng Leksyon Divina. Mayroon tayong apat na pamamaraan na makatutulong sa pagdiriwang ng Leksyon Divina. Sa Leksyon Divina, ang Diyos ang magtuturo ng lahat. Leksyon, ano ang sinasabi ng pagbasa? Basahin ng bukas ang puso. Bigyang pansin ang kapaligirang nakasaad sa kwento ang mga taong nakasangkot, mga salitang ginamit ang daloy ng kwento. Pasukin ang kwento. Meditatio. Ano ang sinasabi ng Ibanghelyo sa atin? May mensahe bang katulad ng sa ating kwento sa buhay? Maaaring sunda ng pangyayari na saan tayo dito? Sino ka dito? Habang nagsasalita si Jesus, ano ang iyong naririnig? Dito papasok ang karanasan ng pagtatagpo ng puso ng tao at ng kalooban ng Diyos. Oracho, panalangin. Sa mga narinig nating sinabi ng Diyos, ano ang tugon natin sa Diyos? 
inaanyayahan tayong itaas natin ang ating kalooban sa Kanya, ang tugon sa tawag ng Diyos, ang tugon sa Kanyang sinasabi, ang tugon sa Kanyang salita. Ang panalangin ito, mga kapatid, ay lalong magaganap na napakaganda sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng Espiritu ng Diyos. Contemplatio. Sa paanong paraan binago ng pagbasa ang ating pananaw sa buhay. At itong pagtingin ito ang siyang mag-aakay sa atin sa kung anong konkretong pagkilos ang ating gagawin bilang pagtugon sa turo ng Diyos na humuhubo sa atin. Lectio Divina invites us to have a deeper communion with God. I am the vine, you are the branches. Every time branches are connected to the vine, we will bear much fruit. Ang Lectio Divina, idinudugtong tayo ng mas malalim sa puso ng Diyos. Kung saan ang kalooban ng Diyos, ang siya rin nating nagiging kalooban. Ano nga ba ang kalooban ng Diyos? Ang gumawa ng mabuti, ang magmahal, ang maglingkod, isa buhay kung ano ang kanyang niluloob. Ito ang layunin ng Leksyon Divino. I've been serving God for almost 40 years now. And if I forget my why, why I do what I do, why I serve, why I preach, why I get up in the morning, everything is gone. And the only way for me to rediscover and embrace my why is by getting into the Word, by listening to His voice through Scripture and in the depths of my heart. Go forth and serve God. Be His light in the world by allowing His light to shine every day through Lectio Divina.
Good morning. Today is Friday of the second week of Lent. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Alexander Balatbat. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We offer this Mass in a very special way for the peace and healing in our country. We pray for the soul of Lucina Jimenez, Lucia Manalansan, Catalina Turla Modesta Pangan, Maxima Balatbat, Anselmo Balatbat, Gregoria Gumabon. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery that is paused for a moment and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. God, our Creator, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, our Savior, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. God, our destiny, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May all loving God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that purifying us by the sacred practice of penance, you may lead us in sincerity of heart to attain the holy things to come through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Israel loved Joseph best of all his sons, for he was the child of his old age, and he had made him a long tunic. When his brothers saw that their father loved him best of all his sons, they hated him so much that they would not even greet him. One day when his brothers had gone to pasture their father's flock at Shechem, Israel said to Joseph, Your brothers, you know, are tending our flocks at Shechem. Get ready, I will send you to them. So Joseph went after his brothers and caught up with them in Dothan. They noticed him from a distance, and before he came up to them, they plotted to kill him. They said to one another, Here comes that master dreamer. Come on. Let us kill him and throw him into one of the cisterns here. We could, we could say that a wild beast devoured him. We shall then see what comes of his dreams. When Reuben heard this, he tried to save him from their hands, saying, we, mu we must not take his life. Instead of shedding blood, he continued, Just throw him into that cistern there in the desert, but do not kill him outright. His purpose was to rescue him from their hands and return him to his father. 
So when Joseph came up to them, they stripped him of the long tunic he had on. Then they took him and threw him into the cistern, which was empty and dry. They then sat down to their meal. Looking up, they saw a caravan of, of Ishmaelites coming from Gilead. Their camels laden with gum, balm, and resin to be taken down to Egypt. Judah said to his brothers, What is to be gained by killing our brother and concealing his blood? Rather, let us sell him to these Ishmaelites instead of doing away with him ourselves. After all, he is our brother, our own flesh. His brothers agreed. They sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver. The Word of the Lord. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. When the Lord called down a famine on the land and ruined the crop that sustained them, He sent a man before them. Joseph sold as a slave. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. They had weighed him down with fetters, and he was bound with chains. Till his prediction came to pass, and the word of the Lord proved him true. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went on a journey. When the vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce. But the tenants seized the servants, and one day they beat, another they killed, and a third they stoned. Again he sent other servants more numerous than the first ones, but they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them thinking they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. They seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. What will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? They answered him, He will put those wretched men to a wretched debt and lease his vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the proper times. Jesus said to them, Did you never read in the scriptures? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has his, this been done and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore, I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard these parables, they knew that he was speaking about them. And although they were attempting to arrest him, they feared the crowds, for they regarded him as a prophet." The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
papalapit ng papalapit ang mahal na araw, nandito na tayo sa biyernes ng ikalawang linggo ng kwaresma. So this coming Sunday, we are now on the third and then fourth, fifth, and then Holy Week. Mapapansin natin sa mga pagbasa, ito ay laging nakatuon sa pagpapakasakit, kamatayan, at muling pagkabuhay ng Panginoon. Sa unang pagbasa, ipinakita din ang tungkol sa buhay ni Jose, ang anak ni David ang anak ni Jacob, kung saan siya'y pinagbili, siya'y itinaboy ng kanyang mga itinuturing na kapatid. Pagpapakasakit, pagkalito sa ugnayan, pagtalikod sa sinumpaang pagmamahal. Sa unang pagbasa sa aklat ng Henesis, Ito'y tungkol sa pamilya, labindalawang magkakapatid, anak ni Jacob, si Jose. Pinagtangka ang patayin dala ng inggit at paninibugho sapagkat ang inaakalang ito'y paborito ni Jacob. Inggit din marahil ang nagaganap sa buhay ni Jesus na siyang nagiging daan ng kanyang kamatayan kung saan ang mga chief priests and Pharisees they were plotting against Him sa gabal ka sa amin hanggang sa ang pagbabalak ay ipapatay. Ang inggit at galit nagbubunga ng pagpatay. Nawawala sa sariling katinuan, umaalis sa tamang daan ng pagmamahal at ugnayan. Ito ang haharapi ni Jesus. Ito ang magiging daan ng ating kaligtasan. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. In the first reading, Joseph, who was rejected and was sold, became the way of the salvation of his brothers. For in times of famine, Joseph, their brother, though was maltreated by them, came to the rescue. Jesus being rejected, Jesus plotting against him on the way for death, Jesus becomes the corner stone. Kapag nagmamahal, laging nasasaktan. Ang rosas maganda pero may tinig. Ang rosas na walang tinig, hindi tunay na rosas. Ang pag-ibig na walang pagpapakasakit, hindi tunay na pag-ibig. Ang pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin, handa niyang yakapin maging ang kamatayan, mailag mailigtas lamang tayong kanyang minamahal. Ito rin ang panawagan sa atin, ang magmahal kahit ang katumbas ay pag-aalay ng buhay, sapagkat ito ang buhay ng kabanalan, buhay na ang tawag nakakabit sa puso ng Diyos. Amen. Reflecting upon the warning in the gospel about the need to bear fruit, we place our request before God the Father. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer.
that the Holy Father may receive light, strength, and support in guiding the church in these difficult times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our minds may be filled with the peace of God, which brings eternal joy and lasting happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in our lives we may bear the fruits of love, forgiveness, justice, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the suffering may never lose heart in the midst of their trials, but be strengthened by the word of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may receive their eternal rest in your kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we gather today in your house. Sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the all-loving Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of Holy, Holy Church. May your merciful grace prepare your servants, O God, for the worthy celebration of these mysteries and lead them to it by a devout way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, Noli, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the peace of Jesus. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are going to partake in his sacred broken body. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal salvation, we pray, O Lord, that we may set our course so well as to attain the redemption you promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. We pray the rosary every day for the peace in our country and the whole world. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May all loving God bless you, the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God loves you. Mama Mary loves you. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Father Alex Balatbat, I was assigned by our bishop here as the administrator of the Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House. The Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House is located inside the St. Michael compound, St. Michael Retreat House, San Jose Extension, San Isidro Antipolo City.
Amoroso 